Hello, in this video I'm going to be talking about the quote-unquote missing uh, circulating supply. So what happened here? I've read like lots of more or less misinformation and like super speculative, um, well, theories on Twitter and decided to like go a little bit more into detail. Uh, like what is possible or maybe plausible, but I also cannot guarantee you anything here. But I just wanted to add the at my viewpoint from a technical perspective. So as you can see here, we've got here 35 uh, billion XRP listed instead of the circulating supply of 45 million. The most important part I would be pointing to is on Twitter XRP scan. They also mentioned it here, so XRP scan is a trustworthy website. An old reporter dropped an XRP circulating supply to 35 billion. We believe this is a glitch in reporting. Recently, Ripple de deprecated their data API. So they're, they're, so regarding deprecating data API, so usually you work continuously on the data API. And at some point, you might, for example, change it and then offer data a little bit differently. And it, and it appears supply data was not published this week, causing market cap websites to fall back to earliest known supply from Ju 26th in June. So we can just have a look there. So as we can see here again, they are showing us the REST web service regarding that. It's data.ripple.com, so data.ripple.com slash v2 slash network distribution. Uh, I do, oh, wait a second, I'm just going to change to my normal browser because it's not pretty print here. So that's what we can see here is just JSON, yeah? It, it stands for JavaScript, uh, oh, JavaScript object notation. So this is basically just repre representing data in a human readable way, more or less. Also, obviously, understandable program. So this is called JSON. For the people who are uh, who want to know a little bit more about it, they can Google it, uh, look into it. It's just that format here, okay? So we'll just have a short look about it. So that that is a REST service. Everybody can uh, send a request to it, and I also did that by just entering the URL here and saying enter. I'm requesting the data here, and it's telling me okay, the result of the request was success. We, uh, we've got a count of 200, and uh, we've got a marketer, whatever. Then we've got an array, so meaning a, li a list. Okay, we've got rows here, and here's the first data point. And the earliest data point ever reported, so it was from 2016, and it was exactly like distributed the 3,510,830, oh, I, I misread it, my bad, uh, 35,108,326,000 uh, And these are more or less exactly those we can see here on the supply here. So if we just compare it quickly, we can see it's exactly that one here. So it, it, it so I'm just gonna say Control F, and we can see here. Oh, I, I have to add this at the indents, but more or less this is exactly the supply we we have standing here. It's exactly that number, and so yeah. So more or less, XOP scan explained it perfectly. So what we can definitely so regarding that they intentionally changed it is like more not that likely. But one thing we can say for sure is that lots of people already wrote coin market cap and told them that there was a bug there, though that the data is not accurate. And also because of that, so as we can see here, the market cap is being calculated by using the circulating supply times the price, meaning that the market cap of uh, of XRP is not report not calculated correctly since the uh, the circulating supply is incorrect. Therefore, we are only on rank seven anymore. So obviously, if we would do the right calculation, we would still be like on rank five or something like that, um, right? And also, in as far as people thought, like, yeah, uh, why is it then on Binance and on Coinbase? So also, we've got the same problem here. Coinbase is Coinbase is pulling the data from Coin Market Cap. Apparently, it's I, I'm assuming it here now. But if you just say Coinbase XRP and go on to that, it's also reporting here exactly the same supply. Probably we would have to check the request but I'm probably too lazy to do that right now. We could quick to see if we can see the request which is being sent here, but I would have to look a little bit closer. I think they're also using React, uh, but it's a little bit too technical now. Um, never mind that, because I can't see it like right now where the exact request is being sent and it doesn't matter actually. But I'm just highlighting here, it's, pr it's probably likely that Coin uh, that Coinbase is also pulling data from CoinMarketCap because CoinMarketCap 
does offer API, which I'm also using for my own. Uh, uh, what is a, what was a Discord bot? So it's pulling also Coin Market Cap API, and using that, I can all, uh, other people can like uh, just access the data published by Coin Market Cap. So meaning that if if Coin Market Cap has wrong data, maybe also some other places do have wrong data. So we can also check it on Binance XRP used T. And have a peek look, I guess, or not XRP used the T, but I just would have to see where we can see the uh, available markets uh, circulating supply. I'm not, I'm not quite sure if you can see it here. I'm not that, so I'm using uh, Binance quite often, but I never checked, like, we can see that. So probably what we have here is spot to turn on, it doesn't help me at all. Um, no, oh, oh, maybe if we click on Ripple, they should rename it though to XOP. Um, yes, we've got it here as well. Uh, oh, I thought so. Nope, uh, no, it's the volume just. Let's just do one more. No, circulate. I was looking for circulating supply or just supply. Um, oh, okay, they're just explaining it a little bit more. What else do we have here? Over here, okay, they're just telling us which frameworks people are using when programming. Let's also check XP charts, I guess. Oh, okay, now no. So we can also see here. Okay, so that this is more or less where people like, uh, where people sell their. Ex so where the most volume is. So we can see Binance is dominating. We got most people use Binance to buy and sell XRP. But never mind. So the only thing I'm emphasizing here is that it was a bug it was not said intentionally at least that's what i think here it might be i think the uh, explanation of xp scan is the most plausible and also so i read like crazy stuff people saying yeah the uh, ripple labs burned 10 billion xrp stuff like that as we do know X, uh, Ripple Labs does, does not have access on the escrow. XRP I made a video about it that they can't be accessed since it's programmatically secured by the entire blockchain network. So that's actually not true. And also, people were talking about the settlement that they had to burn 10 billion XRP, and that's why it's gone in the circulating supply, which wouldn't make sense since I thought, since people I thought were speculating about the escrow being burned, but whatever. So I, I'm just saying here that this might be just a bug, and I think the XRP scan site here is most plausible, but which can be admitted here is that um, coin market cap should have been able to fix it a lot faster. So they, they are tweeting on their Twitter account, I think, so uh, that at least the, their tech team should have looked over it and maybe just sent the request again, or whatever, they should have done something. Since we, can, since we can see here that they have been tweeting, for example, eight hours ago. So. I know, I'm just highlighting here that I think it's, it's, it would be like a little bit nice if they wouldn't be like, if they would like keep track on reporting accurate data. So that's it from my part. I hope it was to some point educational. I hope I was not speculating too much and I hope you liked the video. So see you next time.